Happy Hanukkah, everyone. I'd like to share with you a nice thought that I have on the mitzvah of Nero's Hanukkah. The Gemara on Shabbos and Davchaf Alatam Abiz records a machlokas between Bishama and Beis Hillel dispute as to the correct performance of the mitzvah of lighting candles on Hanukkah. According to Bishama's approach, a person should start the first night with eight nights of eight candles and diminish one by one until the eighth night he was only lighting one candle. Bishal holds the opposite, which is actually how we hold the halacha, which is that we start the first night with one candle and we add on a candle every night until the last night we light eight candles. The Gemara tries to explain a rationale as to what the sourcing for this machlokas might be. The Gemara first suggests that maybe they're counting the days that transpired versus the days that are coming. But that doesn't really give us much of a, a glimpse into what the sourcing of the machlokas might be. The Gemara then suggests a different approach, which is that according to Beishamai, the mitzvah of Nero's Hanukkah actually represent a different mitzvah that we perform on Sukkot. On Sukkot, we sacrifice 70 cows representing the 70 nations, 70 languages of the world, and the and our, our intent to slaughter them and to distance their influences from our lives. Beishamai says that the mitzvah of Nero's Hanukkah is similar to that, and that's why we slowly diminish, lending us to, to, to uh, to take on this 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 idea of diminishing their influence on us. Beis Hill, however, says that the mitzvah is based on the concept of Malam Kodesh Be'em and that we always, when it comes to performance of mitzvahs, we're always trying to add on to mitzvahs and not to diminish. The Marsha asks, Beishamai holds of Malam Kodesh Be'em as well, that's a Gemara. So why is it that Beishamai would feel that it's more important for us to base the mitzvah of, of nearest Hanukkah on the sacrifices that we perform on Sukkot, which is seemingly a irrelevant and un unconnected mitzvah. A person can really suggest that maybe the machlokas between Meshach and Yisrael is actually a very, very important machlokas into the approach of performance of mitzvahs in this world. Bishamai is looking at the way to, to, to dispel the influence of other nations. It's fighting fire with fire. No pun intended. What we're trying to do is, is that we're we're saying that they're coming at us with their influences and, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to show that we're diminishing their influences one by one. We are going to we're going to uh, dispel their 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 we're going to dispel their influence with with our our approach of diminishing their their um, importance. Beast Hill, on the other hand, says, no, the way to fight the other influences and the other nations in, in this world is really with, with light, with adding on, with performance of mitzvahs and being more committed and and taking on a more physical approach when it comes to the mitzvahs. It's interesting to note that the Arizal actually says that when Mashiach comes, we're actually going to paskin like Beishama. And the a lot of the mitzvahs that we're going to perform are actually going to be in accordance with, with their law. The idea being that in this world, we're are where the what's right and wrong is somewhat opaque. We don't always see the Adashim very clearly. We're not always in tune with what the right thing to do is. The way to, to dispel any foreign influences is specifically to be more active and more committed in doing good things in performance of mitzvahs. While Beisham, Beishamah's approach is very much not that way. It's not the idea of doing more, but it's actually the idea of of suppressing the the uh, the other the other the outside influences and those things which are are separating us from from Hashem. It's it's, uh, it's, it's important to it's important to note that you know when it comes to when it comes to uh, this world and the performance of our mitzvahs, the way we should approach things is specifically by doing more. The way we're going to dispel the darkness and the negative influences of the the foreign nations is specifically to be active and to shed more light and not necessarily suppress the darkness. Hopefully that message will carry us through the uh, long winter and um, we will see the Gula Shleim Mirav